guys good morning welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here today I figured I would bring you guys through a work from home routine and even though my work from home is a little different just because I do YouTube full-time so I'm kind of used to it I figured I would share just some of the tips and the habits that I have implemented that have really helped me um, adjust to working from home and also of course doing school from home because I'm sure that's probably what many of us are doing right now um, so yeah the first thing is the most obvious but I couldn't go without saying this because I haven't realized how important this is within like the last week because I have been incredibly lazy lately and there have been so many mornings where I just don't make my bed and I swear you guys making your bed keeps you from wanting to crawl back into it, keeps you from doing like your homework, your work, anything like that in bed. And I've been guilty of, you know, editing in bed, writing papers in bed, because like, how do you not, you know? Um, but to stop myself from doing that, I make it also a little plus. It makes my room look a lot cleaner. Next, of course, I have to consult my to-do list. You guys know I absolutely live off of my to-do list and my planner. So usually in my planner, I'll just write down things that I need to do for school or for work. So like YouTube kind of stuff. And then I'll use the notes app on my iPad and literally make the most random to-do list from like doing my laundry to, you know, maybe editing a video or writing a paper for class. I just find it so satisfying to cross things off or check off a box and also it just helps like hold me accountable for what I need to get done that day and yeah so highly recommend making a to-do list if you just don't really know where to start but you know that you have a lot on your plate writing it all down it just makes me feel so much better. And then I really like to do some type of movement in the morning. I just find that it really helps kind of calm me down and chill out my anxious mind because on work days, obviously I do have a little bit more on my plate, deadlines that need to be completed. So, you know, it's inevitable to feel a little bit more stressed, but something I highly recommend doing is whether it's like a yoga um, little flow or maybe it's going for a walk in the morning or even just stretching, maybe, you know, working out right away isn't your jig, but just getting your body moving in some type of way. It's just great for lowering the cortisol levels because fun fact, your cortisol levels are the highest when you wake up in the morning. So if there's anything that you can do to lower them, I would highly recommend just getting in some kind of movement and it really just gets my mind in the right headspace for the day. Then next up, of course, a skincare routine. I just find that just maybe even splashing cold water on your face in the morning if you guys don't um, necessarily incorporate skincare right away in the morning. Um, but personally, I do, so I just like to kind of rush into my skincare routine, wake my face up, and it really just makes me feel so refreshed and just ready to go. It totally wakes you up too. So if you guys are feeling tired and you don't really do a skincare routine in the morning, because I know some people don't really like to, um, then just hop in and splash some cold water on your face because it will do the trick. I can tell you that. <laughs> okay, before I head on downstairs and make my coffee, which is obviously an essential, I'm going to change out of my um, little workout clothes and just put on a more like structured, kind of cute outfit, but still a little comfy because I like to add um, a little bit of structure to my day and like normalcy so I want to change into something that's not sweatshirts or sweatpants because let's be real I wear that 90% of the time and I feel like I'm a more like productive when I'm in a cuter outfit and also I'm going to just do some light makeup because I do have a little bit of content stuff like thumbnails and Instagram stuff that I need to take care of just some content related things. Um, but yeah, I just highly recommend changing out of something that you would wear, like just chilling, hanging around because it can really make like just a difference in how you feel and how you're going to perform and just 
get after the day. So I really like to um, feel semi-cute, but still comfy, of course. Something I highly recommend for you guys, especially because I know a lot of us are doing school or work from home, is to get ready for the day and make it seem like you're actually going to class or actually um, going to work because it can kind of trick your mind into thinking like, okay, I'm, you know, getting ready for my job so I have to do work related things and I can't just lay around on in my bed and be on my phone. So I find that when I do build this into my routine, it adds a little bit more structure to my day and makes me feel more productive. And for me, looking good makes me feel good. And when I feel good, I'm just more tempted to get after the day. <laughs> officially can start the work day it just it hits different I feel like I'm just a whole new person when I have a coffee in my hand I'm ready to get stuff done now I'm actually going to time block about like two hours and focus heavily on YouTube content and video kind of stuff so I'll edit a YouTube video and I'll also edit some like short videos for TikTok and Instagram reels or just like my Instagram story it's something I've been so into doing recently and I use this app called Vita Video and it just makes it so simple for me to make those short little videos for you guys and I get a lot of questions about how I um, edit my like Instagram stories when I post videos or that kind of thing and I'm going to show you guys in a bit how I use that um, once I get to kind of creating stuff for Instagram and focusing on that today but um, for probably the next like 45 minutes to an hour I'm just going to do some YouTube editing and then we will get into my Instagram video TikTok editing little session. Anyways, I'm just going to set the vibes for my work because I'm going to be here for a while and you guys know I love my vibes. Vibes are very important. Making my workspace feel good is essential. So I'm just going to light a candle, turn on my lamp because that's just like a cozy little light and we're going to get to it. Let's Get to work, baby. So I just finished editing my morning routine and exported it. I only had a couple of edits that I wanted to make. I just needed to fix up some music and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm doing that. And right now I'm going to focus on putting all the links in the description box and then figuring out what I want to do for a thumbnail. So I'm probably going to take a thumbnail in a sec. But yeah, that was a lot easier um, for me to export than I expected. I thought I had way more editing to do with this video um, because it's been one that I've been kind of like working on for a while because it's not a typical vlog which you guys are obviously very used to. Um, so I had to like film a voiceover and all of that kind of stuff or not film but record a voiceover and everything but um, before I like start taking my thumbnails and everything I'm probably gonna actually do that after I eat but I want to um, just show you guys how I do the Vita video because I'm gonna work on editing that and um, stuff in a sec because I want to get a TikTok up this week and also I might put it on my Instagram story. I think that would be super cool. So I'll show you guys how that looks um, once I finish editing it and then also I'll just kind of show you guys a little insight into what the app looks like. Okay, I just finished making my little video um, for TikTok slash Instagram. I don't really know which one I'm going to post it on yet.
just so freaking cool because it takes like 30 to 40 minutes once you really get the hang of it you could probably edit a video so fast like it's just really cool and if you want to get like super technical with it with like the effects and everything and the transitions which is what i really like to do then it can take a little bit but it's just like so user friendly and easy so if it is something you guys are interested in like starting a new youtube channel that kind of thing they also have cool like vlogger templates for intros and outros on the app so if you guys want to check that out because i know it's always fun to have like a cool little intro for your youtube videos and something that's just very like unique for you and kind of different kind of separates you from the crowd definitely check this out i love this app i'll have it linked down below if you guys want to try it you can use it again for youtube videos you could use it for like I said, I do TikTok and Instagram videos on here just to edit them because I find it way easier than editing on TikTok. The reason for the longest time I wasn't on TikTok was because I never figured out how to like edit them. I talked about that in a video before. So yeah, there's no excuse now as to why you shouldn't start a YouTube channel because all the equipment you need is right at your fingertips. Just download the Vita Video app and boom, you got yourself an editor, you got yourself a camera. What's what's not to lose baby but anyways now what my coffee is all dried up <laughs> that sounds weird okay no it's not dried up but the ice is all melted aka it is time for me to go make some breakfast my eyes literally have been hurting for st from staring at my screen for so long even though i wear my blue light glasses it's just I feel like all i do nowadays is stare at screens with work and school being online Let's just not, you know, make life harder than it is and strain our eyes. So get yourself some blue light glasses. But on that note, I'm gonna go make some breakfast and just chill for a bit. Incorporating breaks throughout your workday is honestly essential, you guys, because although you may feel like you're really in the workflow of doing things and you just wanna keep going, you don't want to burn yourself out and it's really important to just give your um, mind a little break from the action so what i really like to do is just make myself some food today i made some breakfast i went on pinterest i find that i get a lot of ideas for youtube content or instagram stuff from pinterest maybe i will take a little social media break and this break usually is about like an hour and a half to two hours um, and another thing I really like to do is go for walks. Today was absolutely beautiful, so I just had to take advantage of it. Right, we're back from the break all refreshed and ready to get after it again gotta love it but anyways i'm going to um switch up the spot this is a little pro tip for you guys if you have the opportunity to i would definitely recommend switching up where you're studying or where you're doing work so if you're just going from like your bedroom to a different room in your apartment or your house or for me i like to go to my um like apartment lobby and go into one of the study rooms because I'm just somebody who gets very like affected by my environment I don't know but I just feel like when I switch up an area I'm more productive and I feel like it just kind of like gets me in the zone again when I switch up where I'm going you know what I mean so we're gonna go head down to a little study room and get back to work so Let's do it. I'm only going to do work for about like another hour or so and then I'll come back here and make either like a light lunch or some snacks, that kind of thing because I'm like a huge snacker when I'm working. So. And then for my second little session of work, I'll spend about like two hours um, kind of doing whatever it may be. It could be editing a thumbnail as I'm doing here. I really like to use procreate and spark adobe to make my thumbnails and making thumbnails is so fun for me it just because you can get really creative with it and it's just kind of like therapeutic honestly so i'll just do this while listening to a podcast or some music and also during this time i like to do some scheduling if i want to get some video ideas up there 
Um, today I really didn't have too many videos to edit because I was on top of my game so I was pretty proud of myself but yeah I really do like to use my notes app once again to figure out some video ideas and schedule things and also during this time I respond to some emails and this is usually towards like the later part of the day so maybe I'll have some like, emails to catch up on that kind of thing. Since I usually have like a bigger breakfast and dinner for my work days, I'm definitely much more of a snacker because I can bring with me kind of on the go and if I'm like in a study area or something like that. So I just threw together some popcorn and almonds and then I had some of these little protein balls and also a RX bar. And also if you guys want to see like a healthy recipes video, whether it's like snack ideas or um, meal ideas, that kind of thing, definitely let me know and I'll film that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I know it's always hard to kind of like come up with good snack ideas to bring with you on the go Whether it's to work or class that kind of thing um, But it's always important to have some extra snacks with you just in case you get hungry throughout the day So yeah, I'm just gonna eat and then I'll probably see you guys a bit later I don't have anything that I need to get done like right now, but once something interesting happens We'll get we'll pick up the camera Okay, so obviously it's becoming more of the evening now. It's about 3.20, so I like to end and kind of like wrap up everything around like 5 p.m. just because I kind of start work around like 9.30ish. Usually towards the end of the day, I'll just kind of tidy up the loose ends, whether that's adding links to a video or checking my email again, just making sure everything is like there's nothing else I have to do or maybe I have to respond to like working with a brand or anything it may be. So right now I'm actually working on making some links for a video. I use magic links and then I just always link the products for you guys and then put them in the, the description because I've been really wanting to get better at linking all the products for you guys because I know it can be super annoying if you see somebody wearing or like talking about something that they really like but then they like don't link it, you know? So I just wanted to um, start doing that more and plus I have the time to do it now. And also I just need to do a few like Instagram planning things. I love planning out my Instagram. I'm not super like intense with how I plan my Instagram feed or anything like that but I do like to get kind of an idea of what my Instagram is gonna look like or the feed, anything like that and how like pictures look next to each other. So I use this app called on, um, I'll actually show you guys. So if you can see down here, the ones with the little white Instagram boxes are the ones I've already posted. And then you can just like switch around and see what looks like cute next to each other. Um, and these are just a bunch of photos that I might be posting in the future. So I'm gonna work on that right now and finish making these links. And then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna end off the video here just because obviously I don't really have anything else to do. And as I mentioned, I like to kind of end my work days around five because clearly you can tell it gets dark outside. Shout out daylight savings. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you um, some ideas on how you can structure your work from home routine or anything like that. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.